Hello, this is Reverend James Hutchings and I'm looking ahead to Sunday the 10th of September at St Mary's. Uh, on Sunday we have our 8 o'clock Holy Communion uh, and we have our 10 o'clock uh, service which is going to be an all age, all together service. Uh, which is going to be themed as a back to school service. Doesn't necessarily mean just your if you're at school, but the sense of this time of year as a new beginning uh, in September after the holiday period. And you're invited to bring your backpack along with you, uh, or the equivalent that symbolises your work, uh, your principal occupation, uh, to ask for God's blessing upon that in the year ahead. So that's going to be at ten o'clock. Also at that service, we're going to be uh, giving thanks for. The, all, all the service and ministry that uh, our children's and youth worker, Julie, Julie Smith, has given. She is uh, 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 moving to Australia, to Sydney, uh, with her family uh, very shortly. And so this is going to be her last Sunday. And uh, it's a great opportunity to, to uh, hear from Julie because she's going to be uh, giving our uh, talk and, uh, and uh, thanking her for all that she's done and asking for God's blessing upon her future there in Australia. So that's also going to be happening at 10 o'clock. Uh, looking a little bit ahead to the evening at 6 o'clock, we have the return of our healing and wholeness service. And it's a time of quiet and of peacefulness at the end of a weekend, the beginning of a new week when we can come before God, particularly thinking about those areas of our life uh, where we are seeking his healing and a wholesome touch uh, in our lives. Uh, so do please come along uh, at six o'clock uh, for that special service. Uh, then looking ahead, we are coming into that uh, busier time of year. We have uh, the charity bike sale this uh, come the Saturday coming uh, on the 16th of September. Uh, and then the following weekend, Barnes Bookfest. Uh, and then looking a little bit further ahead, we have our Harvest Festival on the 8th of October. Do please put that date in your diary, 8th of October, where we'll have our Harvest Festival service at 10 o'clock. And we're going to go straight on to, uh, to a special Harvest brunch in the Kitson Hall straight after that service. And that's on Sunday, the 8th of October. So I would like to have a little think about our, our main reading on Sunday. This is the Gospel reading uh, for this coming Sunday, which is the 14th Sunday after Trinity. And it's from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, beginning at verse 15. Jesus said, if another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything that you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Well, it might sound a little bit of a dry reading, this gospel that we have on Sunday, but I think it says something very important. It's about the main part of it is about how we live together in a church community. And uh, there are some very sensible um, uh, sort of uh, suggestions about how we are to work with one another where disagreement arises. And I think this has application not only for a church community, but indeed for uh, our wider communities that we operate in, indeed our wider society, where we seem to be so bad at being able to disagree well with one another. And here this has a step-by-step -step approach to say that we really need to check out when we have a disagreement, that it is something uh, that is real, um, to have others there to corroborate or to disagree, uh, and that it's only really where uh, uh, somebody is standing out against everything that seems uh, right to everybody else, that maybe they can no longer be a part of that community. Um, but it then over, overrides all of that by reminding us that where two or three are gathered, two or three of us are gathered in God's name, God is there with them. It's a reminder that uh, we don't have to um, ask God to be present with us. He is present with us. Um, and that uh, that should also be uh, a reminder to us in the decisions we take about how we are to live together and to disagree together and make decisions, that God is there with us and we should be seeking his strength and his guidance for all of those de decisions 
particularly the difficult ones that we may be facing, not simply in church life, but in, across all of our lives. Uh, so um, some helpful guidance, I hope, there for us in uh, uh, not only at church, but in uh, this tricky decisions we may have in our own lives at this time, and that reassurance that God is with us. So I'm going to conclude now with the words of the um, collect for this Sunday, the special prayer. Almighty God, whose only Son has opened for us a new and living way into your presence, give us pure hearts and steadfast wills to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.